What's up, everybody? What's up, gang? So I'm gonna show you guys how I make my own brackets. Cause I didn't wanna buy the, I didn't wanna spend the money for the year five, for the year five brackets. So what I did, this is a driver's side, as you can see. When I did, I just, I got these off of off road, man. I got these for a hundred bucks, the D585s. I got the B585s, I got them for a hundred bucks. So what I did, I trimmed them. Trimmed them right here, trimmed it right there, trimmed it right there, trimmed it right there. Just cleaned it up. And then I used studs, I used two studs on the valve cover bolts with some spacers, you know. So I got my PCV right there, you can see it. It's got adequate clearance. You know, my oil fill cap too. And I just pushed it up with an amount of washers. But in the future, I'm probably gonna change them to some, uh, some, some sockets or something that can look a little better. But as you can see, man, it's pretty sturdy. Pretty sturdy, man. They look good, they look stock. So boom, there you go. I made my own brackets on this side. Basically, you just need to trim it. Uh, get you some studs. I forgot the thread pitch. Some studs, some spacers, some washers. That's this side, man. Check it out. Still got the cable wires, you know. But yeah, I gotta change the reluctor out, but for now, I just mounted the coils. Get them mounted. Show you guys this side. And this side, I had to push them a little bit further. Make sure. So I got a space for my little breather, you know. As you can see, I use a bunch of washers, you know, studs. That's this side. Did the same thing, clearanced it, clearanced it, clearanced it, clearanced it. Check it out. Got the dizzy, man, but I already bought in the check in here. I didn't check this. Make the harnesses for the coils. Got them wired in already. Just need power on ground. That's about it. I need to rewire the camshaft position and the crankshaft position. Then give it a tune. Pop in the 24 reluctor. And we'll get in the game. But these are the coils I went with, man. I read them the best ones. That's how you can see on the inside. The B585s. I used. Yeah, man. We get this shit done, man. We save money everywhere we can, but we, you know. But yeah, I have to make my own little harness for the cord. You gotta switch the cord, but jerk this around. Two and three, and I forgot the five and seven, I believe. But yeah, man, check it out. They came out real good. So I get all the plug wires out of there, clean it up. Look a lot nicer. That's how I make my own coils. Check it out. So I slightly pushed up a little higher just to make adequate clearance. So I did drill a hole. I drilled a hole. There, I used an existing umbrella jar right there, and I on each one I used two, two studs on the valve cover holes. Yeah, man. It is. That's how you save some money. That's how I did it. I'm saving some money, man. I gotta spend up to hundred for some brackets, and I spend a hundred for these. All the coils and the brakes will hopefully all work, but I think it's in good shape. Man, man. Man, again. Get back to y'all.